good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to week 8 lecture 5 of this course on sports training load management and recovery i am colonel dr anup krishnan and today we will be discussing sports training technology and innovations and also we'll talk about some important landmark events which have affected this field i will cover this lecture as per the following outline introduction technology in sports benefits for the athletes and sports evolution of the technology types of sports technology and conclusion on the basis of technology the sports technology market is sectored into the device sports analytics smart stadium and e sports technology in sports helps the analysis of sports performance and enables coaches to improve the quality of feedback to players and athletes it also increases the accuracy in time measurements of sports performance because of technology and the improvement of technology in detection of close calls it enables referees umpires and sports officials to make better decisions on rule infringements technology in sports affects improvements in the design of sports equipment and apparel it also provides spectators with better viewing of sports performance what is the impact of technology in sports for athletes there are certain advantages improves the performance where marginal gains make the difference results in better medical care because of fewer injuries and faster recovery from injury improves the feedback from the coaches which makes it more focused objective and helpful the kit and the apparel which they are using is more comfortable more efficient and safer because of technology in sport they feel part of a team and not isolated there are several disadvantages however invades privacy there is no line between personal and professional time the availability and the cost factor itself makes sport and success more accessible to wealthy people and wealthy countries it tempts the athletes and coaches into cheating or unfair practices puts the sole focus on winning and not athletic endeavor how does it affect sports in general increases participation promotes new and alternative opportunities less wealthy sports can support themselves more easily using technology leads to more coverage and revenue adds glamour improves safety it also has several disadvantages it detracts from the intensity of the game reduces emotional well-being that comes from escaping digital pressures or routines increases the cost to sports and participants and often sponsors are more interested in technology than in sport or the athletes sports equipment full body swimwear or the speedo suit or the razor back suit made a huge impact in the 2008 olympics it was later banned because it was making too obvious an difference the difference in performance time between a full body razor suit and a normal swimsuit was enormous enough that several records were being broken and ultimately the fina had to ban this suit kevlar fiber 
which is five times stronger than steel but is lighter, is now used in the manufacture of sails, bicycle tires, football boots, tennis rackets, helmets, body armor, and more. It has definitely improved performance and reduced the timings. Cycles and rowing shells are now made of lightweight but stronger materials that minimize the drag through the air or through water. Technology in racing cycles, racing cars, Formula One has gone and improved by leaps and bounds. The evolution of technology and the information it can provide has benefited all the fields, including medicine, biomechanics, and physiology. Today, there are wearables and garments and patches which are fully capable of measuring cardiorespiratory function, movement patterns, sweat composition, hydration level, tissue oxygenation, glucose, and hydrate lactate levels. They can also measure sleep patterns. There are devices and applications which allow the practitioners to conduct biomechanical analysis without markers. We all know the familiar 3D motion analysis system wherein markers had to be applied to all the bony prominences of the athlete and then the analysis had to be done. Nowadays, 3D motion analysis can be done without markers. Contracted properties of muscles can be done now by measuring EMG. Technology also allows us to measure real-time speed in weightlifting and its derivatives. There are tracking systems that report the type, frequency and intensity of movements in real time using video analysis, inertial measurement units, radio frequency identification systems, global positioning systems, augmented reality and virtual reality. In short, technology is smaller, quicker, quieter, cheaper and smarter. Technology in sport has been helping increase the overall performance, including speed, mechanical efficiency, safety, or all of the above. Technology has also improved the sports spectacle through software, statistical algorithms, data intelligence, real-time artificial, real-time augmented reality, athlete identification, and statistics during a live broadcast. Improved technology has yielded better skiing equipment, better swimming suits, helmets, more aerodynamic bicycles, better motorbikes or canoes. And they have also affected the training environment by the use of virtual reality, augmented reality and simulators which help them to prepare races and use of wind tunnels for better aerodynamic efficiency. Organizations and teams are continuously trying to achieve marginal gains and gain competitive advantage to win or to improve the rankings. The technological op options which impact sports performance include self-technologies, rehabilitative technologies, landscape technologies, movement technologies, implement technologies and database technologies. Self technologies are the form of technology with the potential of fundamentally and often permanently altering an athlete's physical or psychological being or makeup. Banned performance enhancing drugs are the most common of these technologies. They also include surgical procedures, prosthetic bionic limbs, sports psychological interventions and genetic engineering. Landscape technologies. This form of technology 
involves the sporting environment and the way the spectators watch sporting events. They include the modern multipurpose sport complexes with jumbotrons, retractable domes, soaring cameras, mondo tracks, artificial grass, artificial snow, etc. Modern athletes have a very intimate relationship with the technologically advanced sporting landscapes and they use it to their advantage during competition. Sports science and technology. Sports and exercise science has greatly been affected by technological advances. Biomechanical analysis with computers, performing VO2 max with CPT, training for Olympic level track and field events with modern training technologies and assessment procedures. They are all possible due to advances in technology. A portable GPS unit provides a lot of information about altitude, distance, time, average velocity during hiking, and it gives a graphical rep depiction of which portion was uphill, which portion was downhill, what the body was doing, what was the heart rate, etc., etc. It can be used in conjunction with accelerometers to assess and monitor physical activity. GPS may be more widely used to assess and promote physical activity activity. Implement technologies includes the equipment which the athletes use or that they kick, hurl or otherwise propel. Examples include football soccer helmets equipped with warning devices and radios, shark suits that allow the swimmers to move efficiently through the water, high-tech running shoes, golf clubs and tennis Rackets. This technology uses tools such as pedometer or balance boards, media, audio, video or both, and social interactions such as playing with another player to persuade individuals to adopt the behavior without their actual knowing it. Rehabilitative technologies. These are substances and procedures which are used to treat injuries. They also include aids used by healthy athletes to counter the debilitative effects of their training regimens. These technologies are often located in sports training and sports clinic and they are administered by specialists. These technologies include drugs, modalities and physical and chemical treatment methods. Rehabilitative technologies include whirlpool machines, electrical stimulation, and other modalities that athletes use to treat sore muscles and joints. Techniques such as acupressure, chiropractic adjustments are also used in addition to mechanical and computerized treatment. Rehabilitative technologies may be viewed as performance enhancing because they allow the athletes to train and compete at a level that otherwise they could not. Movement technologies. Devices and procedures that are designed to assess the form and efficiency of an athlete's body and sports movements. Include two-dimensional and three-dimensional motion analysis that provide a detailed computerized information on an athlete's biomechanics. The data yielded allows the athlete to compete in a mechanically, aesthetically, and kinesthetically novel manner. Movement technologies also include high speed video technologies and artificial intelligence, which has changed the game of football and cricket. Mini cameras, body worn sensors, wireless transmission, mobile computers has revolutionized the way coaches and sports psychologists interact with individual players and teams. Individual body worn sensors yield real time biometric player data, which may affect the coaching decisions during a game or may be used 
to analyze a player's progress over time. Database technologies. Basically, it allows the athlete, the team, and the coaches to store all the data and analyze it later. It allows athletes and coaches to know everything they need to know about their opponents and themselves. Sports watches, heart rate monitors, heart rate variability trackers allow the individual athletes to continuously track their progress on important physiological and performance parameters. Technology can play a positive and supporting role, helping patients and people to get motivated to adhere to a healthy exercise routine or to rehabilitate after injury. In the technical quest for performance, sports gear such as clothing and footwear which are user-friendly and includes properties such as strength, flexibility, density, thickness, durability, toughness and resistance to moisture has been developed. Footwear was generally used for comfort and injury avoidance rather than performance enhancement till the introduction of the new super shoes. Full body suits used in swimming improve the competitor's performance times where winning or losing the race is measured in the hundredths of a second. Composite tennis rackets have been created which provide enhanced ball speed and reduce vibration. Golf clubs and cricket bats are now designed to result in farther hitting and more precise shot placements. Bicycles have also undergone development in terms of specialist wheels, pneumatic tires, brake levers and pedals which are aimed at increasing stability, rigidity and reducing performance times. Prosthetic devices have been constructed for those athletes who have a specific disability. Example includes the spring light prosthetic device created for those athletes who do not have a lower limb and which acts with a springboard like effect which enables better performance during running and walking. Wheelchair devices used in sporting activities have also been devised, designed based upon their sport. For example, in basketball, wheelchairs have slanted back wheels to allow the player to move and change direction quickly. The world of sports is changing because of technology. As technology plays a large role in daily lives, it also plays a large role in changing the body. Technology continues to change the way sports are played, how injuries are treated, what kind of sports are played, and enhances performance outcomes. Sporting technologies are developed to reach human interests or goals in or relation in relation to a particular sport. Technology develops means by which athletes attempt to improve their training, improve their competitive surroundings with an aim to increase their athletic performance. Knowledge and application of using specialized equipment and the latest modern technologies is vital to perform tasks more efficiently. Coaches and athletes must be aware of sports technologies and make wise choices. These are the references which I have used in preparing this lecture, ladies and gentlemen. I strongly urge you to go through them in the interest of better knowledge and understanding and you will be able to gain more in-depth knowledge regarding this subject. I thank you for your time and patience, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last lecture of this week and there will be an assignment which you will have to complete and submit. The modalities will be intimated to you. 
i thank you for your time your patience and encourage you to post any queries or ask any questions on the email which is flashing on the screen thank you for your time ladies and gentlemen thank you and jai hind